Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing about the properties of rectangles, rhombus, and squares. Okay? Um, on this case, um, please be reminded that these three um, quadrilaterals, the rectangles, rhombus, and squares, they are kinds, sila ay mga uri, they are kinds of parallelograms. Meaning, all the properties of a parallelogram will also be applicable to them. Again, all properties of a parallelogram that we have discussed will also be applicable to them. So, what are those properties just for a review? The first one would be property number 1. The diagonals of a parallelogram divides the figure into two equal parts. And to be specific, you will notice here on the figure below, it's divided into two equal triangles, giving us triangle 1 and triangle 2. Okay? And if you will try to... Um, segment this, uh, I mean, uh, separate these two figures, when you put them together or when you put them above each other, they would be the same figure, okay? Same on all aspects. The, uh, the measure of the sides, the measure of the angles, and everything, okay? Next one, property number two, opposite sides are congruent, okay? It's not stated here that all sides are congruent. It is just stated here that opposite sides are congruent. So, in this case, you will notice they are congruent, 7 and 7, the same goes 6 and 6. Same goes 7 and 4 for a rectangle and 4 and 4. And in this case, do not, again, do not notice or do not mind if the all sides are congruent. Just simply mind that opposite sides are congruent. 3 and 3 and 3 and 3. If it happens to be um, that all sides are congruent, then still satisfied pa rin. Opposite sides are still congruent. Okay? And then next, property 3, opposite angles are also congruent. So in this case, 60 degrees, opposite angle niya is another 60 degrees, 120 and 120. This is for a parallelogram or you can say na a rhombus as well or ano, any figure like that. Next one would be yung rectangle. Ang rectangle, it's not, um, all angles are actually congruent. But then again, we do not know, um, mind that. What we simply mind would be the opposite angles. 90-90 kasi right angle yan, ito. And another 90 and 90. Same goes pag sa square. Kasi square is basically a rectangle that is also a rhombus. And of course, property number 4, two consecutive angles are supplementary. When we talk about consecutive, yung magkasunod. So let's try to check. Magkasunod tong dalawa, right? From this angle, papunta dito. Okay? 60 plus 120, the answer is 180. Again, the concept of supplementary, the sum must be 180. Next, 120, 60, it would be the same, 180, and so on. Same goes, 90 plus 90 is 180, and all throughout the figure. Consecutive angles are supplementary. And property number 5, the diagonals bisect each other. So, so from this figure, you will just notice, this is your um, diagonal, dalawa. They met at this specific point. Dividing the diagonals into two parts. And they are not just divided into two parts. Okay? Not necessarily. Kasi when, when I say it's divided into two parts, it could be like this. 3 and 7. Okay? But the concept here is it is bisected. When you talk about bisection in mathematics, it means that it is divided equally. Take note. May term na equally. Into two parts. So meaning, if this uh, entire segment is 8, nahati siya sa dalawa. Meron kang 4 and 4. If this entire segment is 10, then nahati siya sa dalawa, 5 and 5. Okay? So, you will have two se uh, 4 sets of segments. And, I mean, 4 segments and 2 sets of congruent segments. Okay? So, those are the properties of a parallelogram that you must remember. Now, let's proceed on the properties of the first one that we will be discussing for today. What that would be the rectangle. Okay, on um just let me just remind you, remember po ah, ito yung parallelogram. Under ng parallelogram may dalawa, right? We will have a rectangle and a rhombus. And under nitong dalawa, we will have the square. Okay po? So remember that all properties of a parallelogram will be given to this three. Okay? But some proper, not all properties of a square, uh, of a rectangle, is in the rhombus. And not all properties of the rhombus is also in the rectangle. But again, in this case, since uh, square is below 
the rectangle and rhombus, it means that properties of a rhombus and a um, rectangle will be with the square. Okay? So, ang didiscuss natin na importante dito would be the rectangle and the rhombus because the square will have all of their properties. Okay? So, let's uh, proceed with our rectangle. The very first property that we would be discussing would be, um, wait, let me undo that. Would be property number one. Property one. And that would be, uh, I, I mean, yeah, property one of a rectangle. And that would be rectangles have four ninety degrees. Or just simply, we can say that it has four right angles. Has four right angles. Okay? And of course, when you talk about right angles, they are just simply 90 degrees. Okay? So again, by um, by construction, ang ating rectangle lang naman would simply be uh, this figure. Yan. Yung, I, mean, I mean, you're familiar with a rectangle, right? This is a rectangle. And definitely yan, magkakaroon ka ng apat na 90 degrees. Okay? And that would be it. Just uh, remember this one, na meron siyang apat na 90 degrees. Okay? Next, uh, I don't think we need to... Uh, maybe let's go to GeoGebra a little bit. Yeah. Let's go here. Yeah. So, let's create a rectangle. Rectangle. Yeah, there you go. Zoom in natin ng onte. Yeah. So, if you will try to find the measure of the angle, yeah, you would notice a 90 degrees. Yeah. But the thing about 90 degrees when it comes to a quadrilateral, pag isa 90, lahat na yan dapat magiging 90. I, I mean, uh, at least uh, there would be two, I mean. Yan. 90 and 90 and another set of 90 degrees. Ayan, that would be it. Okay, so there you have it. Ito ang rectangle and definitely it will have 90 degrees po. Okay? So let's go back to our um, second property for our rectangle. And that would be property number two. Let me, uh, let me just go. Property 2 of a rectangle would be diagonals are congruent. Congruent. Yan. Pag sinabi natin diagonals are congruent, it just simply means that if we have this rectangle, ayan, yeah, I mean the concept of congruency. The concept of congruency means that they are equal. So if this diagonal, let me use another colored marker this diagonal say is 10, then definitely itong diagonal na to is also 10. So, let's go to our figure in GeoGebra. Ayan. So, let's create our line segment. Ayan, here and here. So, ayan. We know that this is definitely a rectangle. So, let's just try to prove kung tal talaga ba na ang kanyang, um, if the diagonal are the same. Okay? This diagonal AC is 6.71. This diagonal, um, BD, uh, yeah, DB, is also 6.71. Okay? So, you will notice they are the same, then definitely, ayun nga, proves our point that our diagonals are congruent or they are equal. And that would be it for the properties of a rectangle. You might say na, sir, parang onte. It's a little bit uh, dalawa lang, sir. But then again, you have to remember that all the properties of a parallelogram will also belong to the rectangle. Meaning, in a rectangle, the diagonals divides the figure into two equal parts. So, for example, we have this figure. Ayan. Let me just delete this one. So, you will notice here na itong diagonal natin, it divided the figure or the rectangle into two equal triangles. Next, opposite sides are congruent. So, in our figure here, let's try to find the measure of the side, this side, okay, and then this side. You will notice opposite sides are congruent, 3 and 3, and we have 6 and 6. Okay, and then the next one would be um, opposite angles are also congruent. Therefore, ayun nga, 90, 90. 90 and 90, and then also we have 90 and 90. So, proves our point that, again, property 3 of a parallelogram is for the rectangles as well. Next one. Property 4, any two consecutive angles are 
supplementary. Ibig sabihin lang neto, pag pinag-add mo daw yung dalawang magkatabing angle, 90 and 90, therefore, that would be 180. And definitely, it's 180. And property number 5 would be diagonals <coughs> bisect each other. So, pag sinabing bisect each other, let's create two diagonals again, being this one. And let's create a point in the middle, kasi yun nga yung midpoint nila. And let's create these two lines. Um, let's just measure them. Measure natin yung distance nila. Let's let's move them. Ano no, wala yung uh, ayan, here. Ayan. Let's measure them. So let's measure from this to this. Ayan. And this to this. You will notice that aside from them being congruent, okay, they are also bisected. Okay, itong AE from A hanggang dito sa gitna, 3.35 D hanggang gitna 3.35 and that would be consistent for all okay and those would be the two the seven properties actually of a rectangle okay on the next video we will be discussing about rhombuses and at the same time squares so um, if you have any other questions you can consult the video again or you can um, ask me in our class thank you everyone for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh